the third kind of arm it's uh, an arm from uh, miles so here almost the same options we don't have the um separation between um i k i'm sorry rotation and uh translation i k control uh but if i recall correctly he has it there it's just like not optional so you always have it and then he has this elbow thickness that is super useful and i will show you soon for what so basically that's uh, all for the settings and let's build the the arm so uh, I guess I should talk with Miles so he can explain by himself how to use this thing. Uh, but um, one of the things I really like more, so you can see here, you have the IK arm, FK arm. So here is where it comes. The so you have the IK, and then you see the. If I move this one, the the hand is there. That is similar with that we have on the other one. If you do this, it's using. The same control for the both of them. I did this really, really nice design of this this component, and it has some um, auto vector similar that we we have. Um, and yeah, this one is the nice, nice one. So when you have this, you know, um, this system for the arms, like well, indeed, or articulations, like human arti. Um, all the animals articulation doesn't work like this like an inch thing uh, you you have more like um um oh my i forgot the name in english anyway so it's not ro rotating like this so you you have a little radius on the rotation because uh it's like uh oh my god i, I just forgot the <laughs> the, n the name of 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 this articulation on, on in english sorry for that guys but Basically, you can give some thickness here, so your deformation is it's more beautiful, and you don't need that many corrective plane shapes. So you add the elbow thickness there, so it's gonna give this this nice. So it's not gonna pinch in the center like you used to do with the more inchy like classic way to do things. So. Um, for me, it's really nice design. The and you have it by the folder. Um, you need to animate it if you you want to to have more control there. But um, for the rest, like you have the round on one side that is similar to the original arm um, system. The other arm round, so you have to separate these things. But it's always from the center, so you don't have the um, these tangent controls but what you have it's this uh, joint control visibility Oops. so you have one control per joint so you have an extra control there if you need it but it's per joint so if you had many joints you're gonna have uh, many many um, controls and eventually it's gonna be uh, tough to, to animate all of them but it's a good option and you have it there ready if you need it so i think that's it um the fk arm it has uh two like layers the fk one this one and and this one that it's from the second but this is more to separate the roll from the um this one so but yeah to be honest um i would like to to have miles in one of these videos explaining how he uses because it's it's really cool um component and um yeah i totally recommend it to use okay thank you and see you in the next video